anyways though that's enough on the fear four talk those coming out november which is coming up so y'all boys get y'all's pockets ready you know because it's gonna be an expensive month but yeah the next shoe i want to talk about is the Hey man, say man, it's Armand Turo in the cut on the mic as y'all can see and today we're gonna be discussing some upcoming fire releases So drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell all that good stuff and yeah, we're just gonna get right in this video Right now, I'm, I'm not even sure. I'm pretty sure it's end of October right now what is and so we're coming up into November We got a few fire releases in November probably some that I'm probably gonna miss I know we got a Travis Jumpman Jack. I made a video on those so go go on my channel look for that video It's one of my most recent videos. So yeah, but today we're going to be discussing some other fire releases. So yeah, like I already said, y'all know to do down below all that good stuff. Drop a like, all that good stuff. And yeah, first release I want to talk about is the Air Jordan 4 Fears, which are coming in um, November 13th, I'm pretty sure. Let me check. Are y'all capped? They come out November 9th on the sneakers app, all retailers and everything. So the Jordan 4 Fears are uh, confirmed coming out. I'm going to pop them on the screen probably if I haven't already. And yeah, these are actually really dope. I like them. They're very simple. I know the first ones. I remember the OG ones. This was one of the fourths I used to see. I used to be like, dang, I actually like those. I really like the speckles on the sole. Kind of reminds me of like a galaxy type look. And then it's just really clean. You know, that gray, like kind of a, uh, I don't know how to explain it. That gray hits with the black. I'm looking at a picture of them on my MacBook right now. So that's, don't, don't even worry while I'm looking over here. And yeah, they're actually just really clean. Definitely a good shoe you can wear on the daily. We've been getting a lot of white and black fours though. We got the white thunder fours that I've done a few reviews. Well, I've, done, I've shown them in a couple videos. I did a review on them. So if you want to go check out that review, I know a lot of people got those. So it doesn't really matter. That was a massive GR. But these fear fours are definitely going to be a pretty big GR too. Along with these other Jordan drops I'm going to be talking about in this video. So yeah, we're going to be getting good healthy stock on all these pairs. So we're going to have to see if they're going to be flipping or not. I'm sure that these Jordan 4 fears are, are going to be going for around... 270 to 320 in good sizes whenever they come out i'm i mean yeah i'm i have like i have strong confidence in this pair because just because how good it is it's black jordan fours always do well like look at the black cat fours i remember people say sneaker reselling and stuff is dead around it's not all about sneaker reselling you know just like sneakers in general because you know when things are selling out that means that people are into sneakers but when you know stuff you know when good stuff comes out though sneaker heads are always going to eat it up like for example i remember a long time ago the black cat four sat the royalty jordan fours they're like all black jordan four with that gold uh touches on them they sat in malls for weeks like jordan fours used to sit like i feel like yeah they used to sit unless it was just like a crazy you know good jordan four but yeah like what i'm trying to say is jordan black jordan fours do very well over time well holding shoes right now is just not good but i'm just saying like black jordan fours people like them like look at the black cat fours they go for a thousand dollars right now and they used to sit but it's just kind of weird how those went up when most shoes like don't go up but you know they just kind of released at like a good time and then you know they kind of went up during covid and stuff like that but yeah anyways and they're still holding at that thousand dollar eight hundred dollar mark which is crazy you could just because there's not that many like ds pairs out there but yeah the jordan 4 fears are like a black jordan 4 so definitely clean definitely a pair that i would rock you know they'd match with this t-shirt so i'm actually very excited for this release I probably would do an on-feet review of these. I feel like I'm probably gonna have to add these in the collection, even though I already have a couple black Jordan 4s. We'll have one black Jordan 4. I have the Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines, and then I have the Industrial Blue 4. So like, I don't wanna stack up my 4s too much. I feel like Nike's giving us a lot of 4s. I feel like there's a lot of people like me out there that's just like, I don't wanna see, you know, a bunch of Jordan 4s in my collection. It's like this bunch of different colors of the same shoe. But I know Jordan, you can't get, I mean, some people just love Jordan 4s, which I do. I love Jordan 4s. It's definitely like one of my favorite model Jordan 4, I mean, Jordans, but uh, I mean, I just don't want to see like a bunch of different colored Jordan 4s. But if you do like this pair, don't don't let me stop you. You know, there's definitely a clean, clean pair. Like I said, like it'd go good with this. Well, you just can't go wrong with the black Jordan 4, honestly. Then the speckles on the sole just goes crazy. So yeah, definitely going to be looking forward to this release. It's, it's definitely going to be, you know, one of the good, you know, as we're getting closer to the holidays, there's definitely going to be some good uh you know releases coming out the next release i want to talk about though let me see how long this video has been real quick okay there's actually a lot of good releases like i was saying coming out near now we're getting close to holidays because nike knows people buy during holidays everyone knows that you know during holidays near christmas people buy things for people people buy things for themselves especially sneakerheads you know sneakerheads christmas time is like i mean that's always the best time for sneakerheads well, when i was younger nowadays i gotta buy my own stuff which i'm sure most people watch this video gotta buy their own stuff but when you're a kid you know that's like something you know you're looking forward to christmas because you can get your favorite shoes from you know whoever and get them for free but yeah anyways though yeah the jordan 4 fears really clean pair definitely nice the next shoe i want to talk about though i don't want to stretch this out too much but like i said they're coming out november 9th november 9th and i'm gonna definitely remember that date it kind of sucks though for me because november 9th i have a sneaker show to go to uh yeah so i have a sneaker show to go to in that day i'm gonna post that video so drop a subscribe with notifications because i got some good uh event videos coming out soon hopefully for y'all boys and girls so yes sir hey 
expect some good content coming soon. Got some more like, you know, going outside content, you know, not just in the crib, but you know, right now I'm at a temporary location. So if you watch my videos, you're probably like, where am I? I'm usually in a cool looking room, but right now I'm kind of in like a living room type, you know, kind of just a different, you know, not really my vibe, but hey, you know, we're just here for right now because you know, certain things, hurricane type stuff, you know what I'm saying? If you know, you know you know anyways though join four fears they're coming out november 9th i'm definitely gonna remember that it kind of sucks for me like i said because i have to go to a sneaker show that day so i can't go around looping malls buying pairs of these not that i'm trying to buy a bunch of these like i kind of made that mistake with the industrial blues but they made so many industrial blues so i mean they, those were just bound to be a brick but these fears i'm thinking that they're probably going to drop around like bread four numbers i don't see them dropping more uh, more than the breads just because like this is a less sought after like it's not like a less sought after colorway but it kind of is you know breads are just like one of those og colorways that nike's gonna bring back and uh, produce massive numbers of them because they know they're gonna sell people will love like the black and red combo i love that i love breads i've always loved bread 11s bread fours bread ones this breads just go crazy black and red just hits so well but the fears are like a less sought after colorway so i feel like they're gonna drop a little bit less probably than the bread so i definitely see these probably being like white thunder type numbers like you know like how the white thunders they were going for more money than uh like the industrial blues i don't know if they're going for more money than the breads when they came out i'm sure they're probably going for the, around the same numbers but that's just because they made less numbers because white thunders are just like a less sought after colorway you know compared to like a bread or a military blue because the military blues have always been a good colorway people always love that one just solid white with the blue hints but anyways though that's enough on the fear four talk that was coming out in november which is coming up so y'all boys get y'all's pockets ready you know because it's gonna be an expensive month but yeah the next shoe i want to talk about is the black cement threes which are coming out in uh november 23rd let me uh confirm that yeah they come out november 23rd i was spot on that i know that i've seen a couple early pairs people showing you know i've seen a couple people show like you know early pairs and people are complaining how they just don't look as good as the 2018s which on camera i haven't seen that many 2018s in hand because i didn't i used to know about the black cement threes but they've always been a pricey shoe so i never had them but I honestly could have gone when I was younger. Like I said, you know, other people would buy my shoes. So I was kind of blessed enough to get other people to buy my shoes. I wouldn't have to go out my way to spend my money to get them. But yeah, anyways, like, you know what I'm saying? When you're, you know, anyways, now I got a little older. I got to be a little bit more selective with my personals right now, at least. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully one day I can just buy any personal I want. But uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, y'all boys get that level too if you if you want to, if you want that, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, though, that's off topic. People are complaining though about how these look compared to the 2018. So people are saying that these don't look as good, the quality's not there, which I agree. Nike's slacking on the quality. That's how most brands are, if you notice. That's how, for example, food restaurants. If you go to like a food restaurant, like it, for example, five years ago, like I feel like most food restaurants used to be more quality. And then as they get more like big, for example, Chick, I don't know if this is, I don't know, this might just be because I've had so much Chick-fil-A over the years, but I feel like Chick-fil-A used to taste better and their quality, they kind of like made it iffy, but I feel like that's not it. I feel like, I don't know, I've been to a lot of restaurants though where it'd be like mom and pop restaurants and like they'll just have like two or three locations and slowly over time they'll like downgrade on their products so then they, they can make more money and do cheaper, you know, quality, which I don't like. And that's kind of what Nike is doing. I feel like they're just mass producing pairs and they're making it cheaper quality compared to the 2018 versions they did not make as many pairs as they're going to drop i feel, I think uh rumored 350,000 plus pairs i'm sure there'll be like a half a million type pairs so heavy stock this is going to be a massive gr I've, heard, I've, heard, I've seen people say this is going to be a super gr which is if they're a super gr i definitely hold on one sec y'all all right, I'm tuned back in this video. I thought, you know, anyways, I'm tuned back in this video. The, yeah, these are gonna be a super GR apparently. So ever, if you want a pair of these, you're gonna be able to get them. But these are so similar to the Bread 4s. Honestly, I just, I just don't know. They're like, a, I think they're the reimagined Black Cement 3s or remastered. I'm not sure if they're remastered or reimagined. I'm pretty sure they're reimagined, honestly, because they don't look the exact same as the, but I don't know, I think they're remastered. I'm not gonna lie. They look, you know, exactly the same, but people are complaining about like the leather quality. I saw, you know, uh, Top Shelf Kicks did an early review. A lot of people done early re reviews though, but I watched, you know, a video and he did it like a close up, you know, showing like, you know, but I kind of agreed with the, the reviewer on that because, you know, you just got to take what you can get from Nike nowadays. Honestly, I'm not even going to complain, even though we shouldn't take what we can get. Honestly, we should boycott Nike on that. You shouldn't, they should have made it exactly the leather tumbled looking as quality buttery as the uh, oh, 2018s. You know, we shouldn't just take whatever we can get. But at this point, we just got to take what we can get. We can't even complain too much. But yeah, I feel like the 2018s definitely look better. People were saying the elephant print on the new ones look better, but I disagree. I think the elephant print and like the leather just looks nicer on the 2018s, but like i said i'm gonna take what i can get i've always loved jordan threes 
uh, the bottom the bottom of Jordan threes is so simple, but they're just so like nostalgic for me. So yeah, I just love the I love the black cement threes. I never had like a high end Jordan three, but I used to you know always go with, like the outlet and there'd be Jordan three sitting, which you can still go to the outlets nowadays and get Jordan threes. I feel like it's easier actually to go to the outlets nowadays than it was back then and pick up like a Jordan three or even Jordan fours, which yeah that's definitely facts. You know back like like you know a couple years ago like years really like years years ago like five to eight years ago. You'd be able to, you know, get better stuff in the outlets than you can now. Maybe debatable. De wait, no, no. You you wouldn't be able to find as good of stuff back then as you can now because most stuff sits now. Like, you know, not good stuff always sells out, but you know, stuff that's like highly produced, not bad, like not the most sought after colorway, like the Jordan Four Orchids. You know, that yellow Jordan Four. Those are probably sitting at outlets for like very discounted. But yeah, the Jordan Threes really clean definitely gonna be looking forward to these they come out november 23rd so i just want to talk about these two releases that are coming out in november two bangers in uh in uh, november so yeah i'm definitely gonna be looking forward to these hopefully i can get some good you know good amount of pairs well at least like you know a pair of my personal size of both so i can maybe do on fee review of them or uh i don't know i definitely personalize the blacksmith threes i'm still on the fence about the jordan four fears because i do like them but like i said i don't want a bunch of jordan fours of like the same shoe different colors you know they're, that's 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 one thing about Nike, you know. They need to chill. I know they like to push out a lot of like certain models each year. They'll either go do the Jordan ones, like 2016, 2017. I feel like they did the Jordan ones super heavy, mass produced. Like did a bunch of colorways, did a bunch of releases of the Jordan ones, and they kind of like each year they'll do they'll like focus on a different uh, model. But I feel like they should bounce around a little bit because they're giving us a lot of Jordan fours, and for like collectors, like people, you know, we gotta be a little bit selective with what we're gonna be personalizing because we can't have. A bunch of the same color of the same model but anyways i'm looking at these jordan threes right now hopefully i popped up a bunch of pictures throughout this video or at least a few at least a picture of each shoe that i talked about so just about two pictures but yeah hopefully uh if you made it to the end of this video you're a real one drop a like drop a sub hit the notification bell to not miss no fire sneaker updates sneaker content like not just sneaker updates you know this ain't just the news but hey i just like to you know just talk about stuff as a sneaker head so yeah anyways though i think that's really all i had to talk about uh yeah like i said jordan three call the new ones aren't as quality as the older ones but hey this is what it is we're gonna see whenever i get them in person but yeah definitely off camera they definitely look cheaper than the 2018 so that's kind of disappointing but you know it is what it is i'm gonna take what i can get i love i've always liked the black cement threes but i just realized this they're very similar to the bread fours because like the inside of them literally looks like the bread four insoles like they literally look the same they have the Nike Air and they're red. Like they literally look the same as the Bread 4 and Souls. So, you know, this is a very similar shoe, but definitely a very nostalgic, good shoe. So, I mean, you're gonna need, if, you, if you're watching this video, everyone needs a pair of Black Cement 3s, but hey, you know, it's gonna be a little bit Panda Dunkish. It's gonna be like the Military Blues. Everyone's gonna have a pair of these. So they're not gonna be that exclusive, but that's okay. You know, I mean, I like the Rock exclusive stuff. So I know some people don't care. They're like, oh, everyone should have a pair if they want it. But I agree. I agree on that. But then again, you know, it's it's like more nice to whenever you're wearing something, you know, not too many people have. It's okay for a lot of people to have, if especially if they wanted it. But, you know, I don't want to see them like, you know, like a Panda Dunk. Everywhere you go, you see someone rocking them. But that's okay, I guess. I don't know. I don't I don't really care, honestly. I just rock what I like. But I'm just rambling at this point. Let me see how long this video's been. Okay, I feel like I've yapped a little bit too long in this video. Drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell. I think I'm gonna end out the video here. Drop in the comments if you're lit or excited for these uh, releases. I definitely am. So yeah, uh, literally seeing here, like I said, there's gonna be a super GR, the Blacksmith 3. So there's gonna be a bunch of pairs of those. I'm pretty sure. Uh, also, the another shoe I wanna talk about probably, uh, this video is getting too long, so I feel like I'll talk about another video, but just a little hint, the Jordan 11 Columbia's, aka Legend Blues. I, I used to love those. Like, I used to really want a pair of Legend Blues, but now I got a little bit older. I'm kind of like, eh, I'm the Legend Blues. I don't really like high tops that much. I like, you know, mid tops, like Jordan Force, so I kind of like a mid top-ish. I like low top and mid top, so I like Jordan 1 lows. I mean, I'm not a high beast, but I just like the Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows. Honestly, honestly, I just like the backward swoosh, just different. And I don't know, I don't really rock like regular Jordan 1 lows, but I mean, I, I like dunks though. I like SBs, not just dunks, not really dunks that much, even though dunks are more like better. Anyways, though, I'm, I'm rambling, bro. Y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub, hit the notification bell. Peace.